In today's video, we're going to see how dumb of an idea a composite dash was, or more so, how dumb it was to do it the way that I did it. So, uh, do me a favor, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe button. I mean, you can click the little notification bell if you want to see when I post a new video, which right now is Wednesdays, Saturdays, plus Monday morning CAD videos for anybody that wants to give that a try. Um, like the video if you enjoy it or just like it just because um help the old algorithms for me uh help push the channel for me i'd greatly appreciate it and uh comment below um i love interacting with everybody that's probably my favorite part of the entire process is getting to talk to people from quite literally all over the world that uh seem to be enjoying what i'm doing so uh yeah do the whole youtube thing and let's just dive right into this. Picking away at this dashboard. See, I kind of knocked some of that lower point off and rounded the lower edges, cleaned everything up. There was a few things that looked out of place, but I was still working in this at 10 o'clock at night and it was getting dark and uh, need a fresh out of eyes this morning. So now, Let's get it lined up. I think that works a whole lot better. And what I'm done is I've just gone in with a razor knife and marked my edge straight down and taken out a line. And then I'm going in and I'm taking out pieces with my razor knife so that I can use this rasp that I would assume this is for body filler. It might be a wood rasp, I don't even know. It was in a random toolbox. And uh, once I get it, kind of the bulk of the material knocked out. I can go at it with this and then I'll go in with some uh, two inch sanding pads and kind of get everything cleaned up. I gotta knock that part down there too. But uh, we wanna make these grooves nice and deep so that the details don't get lost within the resin once I start applying it here. So this stuff all moves super easy. I did this with the rasp. You don't wanna push too hard cause it actually, it'll gouge out chunks and uh, I put one of my 36 inch roll locks onto the drill thinking that I would try to level this out some and it just it tries to get away from you way too fast. It'll eat right through this like nothing but what I did find is you know 36 grit 40 grit paper if I had a strip handy these are already round and they're fairly stiff so it's nice. It actually fits right into there and seriously it uh, It doesn't take very long at all to knock a mountain of material out. Um, I took some big chunks out with the razor knife just to kind of get a start. I haven't decided how deep I'm going to make this yet. I'm kind of going by feel and then I'll go, I'll go by feel how it looks kind of right and then I'll add a little bit more to make up for what uh, I'm going to lose in detail from the resin and everything cooling together. But, uh, yeah, this is kind of where we're getting to. So with my nephews here, picking away at this dashboard, but they like to watch me on YouTube. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. I think they're carving out accessory pieces for the car or something. I don't know. I'm going to teach them some much needed skills. But, uh... Yeah, I am thoroughly impressed with how this is coming out. So I think I've got this shape all roughed in. I'm happy with how this fits in the car. See my little radius edges, everything's smoothed out. Um, this is essentially still a flat dash. It's nothing super fancy, but a little bit of style. I've got room to put great big speedo in the middle I've got room for my gauges on the outer sides you can see the notch for my steering column there and uh, the left imprint so that I can put my headlight switch and my ignition switch uh, cars not gonna have a whole lot other than that and if it does it's gonna be switches up out of the way where you can't see them so You'll notice that this form is super rough. I haven't done any super intense sanding. The reason being is that in this case, I'm gonna use this as 
a male buck. Now normally what you do is finish all the body work, paint it, polish it, make the part perfect, and then you'd pull a mold off the part. What I'm going to do is actually wrap this entire thing with tuck tape and I'm going to pour my resin and cloth directly over top of my buck. Once that's all cured, I'm going to block sand it until it's perfect and then lay my carbon fiber cloth directly on top of that. Since I've wrapped this in tuck tape, I'll just be able to pop it out of the backside when I'm done. Not nearly as uh, high tech or perfect as making a mold, but I can essentially build a dashboard in a day instead of a week. And my cost for supplies is cut down to about a quarter of what it would be doing it, I guess, the proper way. Great thing about sunshine, you know, shows all the imperfections here. I've uh, wrapped this entire buck in tuck tape and uh, this isn't the normal fiberglass cloth this is actually super thick stuff so I'm going to uh, cut a piece that's a little oversized and start mixing up some resin Well, you kind of see how that laid out. I don't know how this will pan out yet. We uh, had enough resin to finish it off, but it's super hot today. And well, as you can see, that's set up about twice as fast as I was expecting it to. Work in small batches, people. But. Uh, once this sets up, I'll pull all these tacks out we're using and uh, see if I can't get another layer on this and get it to settle down a little bit more. For anybody that's following along and wants to try this themselves, this is eight ounce fiberglass cloth. I just got this off of Amazon. I'm using this stuff because it's, it should hide a lot of the sins that I've got going on below. And once I get a coat of resin on top of it, I should be able to block sand everything and uh, make some imperfections disappear. At least that's my hope. I know I'm trying to cheat. I'm going to try anyway. Since the first round didn't quite go as planned, I'm going to get on my second round here. It's cured enough on the top that I can get the top on. It's not tacky at all. So I've cut a piece to fit down into the pockets on each here with a couple of relief cuts. And I'm going to put a couple of layers of cloth in here, get this thing strong and smooth to the point that I can actually sand it down so that it's ready for carbon. I am currently operating under the idea that it's going to look worse before it looks better. Um, I'm tinting all of my epoxy resin purple with with dye and mica right now and uh, you can see my piece flapping in the wind here to wrap over 
this top piece here um, remember I made those pouches or pockets really deep so once I get you know two or three or four layers of cloth on the whole thing I'm actually going to put another layer in that pocket and flood coat it so that that area is nice and smooth and at least I don't have to body work that um, and then it'll be into sanding and stuff so I can do my last coat or I'll probably do all my sanding before my last coat, do my last coat, make sure it cleans up nice, and then flood coat the gauges. There we go. Or flood coat the gauges when I do the carbon fiber. Either way, it's uh, getting some thickness. It's laying down. It's actually not looking too bad in person, although looking at my screen, this looks horrible. So just like the car, this dash is Frankenstein together. Um, the purple's helping me work. Gives me a little bit of contrast to that red tuck tape and all the words. But uh, as rough as this looks, there's actually about three layers of cloth on everything. So I'm going to leave this for tonight to cure. And I'll leave it for the morning and I'll probably pop it off the buck tomorrow. And then I'm going to take some of these off cuts and mix up a batch of resin. And uh, make a paste that's fiber infused. And I'm going to reinforce the heck out of the backside tomorrow so that Tuesday I should be able to block sand this and do a wet coat on it. But uh, I'm hoping all this makes it into the video for Wednesday. So you guys will already be watching it by then and hopefully what comes next is this off the buck sitting in my car. Or... There's going to be a short clip explaining how it all failed. As I'm filming this, your guess is as good as mine. You ready for this? 
I mean, I made a hell of a disaster here, but boom. I mean, damn. I'm half tempted to just finish it out in purple the whole way. Because this is pretty damn cool. Quick mail call today because I'm in a box of these magnets, which are super handy for little tabs and whatever. They twist, move to different angles, but the important stuff. I have the upper and lower anvils for my English wheel and I'm stoked they came with pins which I wasn't didn't even think to check but now that I've got my jack screw and my anvils I am ready to build it when I go down to the shop so I'm not gonna show the whole process here but on the back side I got this thing propped up everything kind of pulls to the lowest point it amplifies when it's hot out so I've got this propped up so that uh, the lowest paint is not just the face, um, but I also don't want it just running off the edge. But I cut a bunch of strips to kind of fill this in and reinforce it. The bottom edge held its shape really well, but the top edge has this ripple. And I'll deal with that after I get this bottom edge set. So a couple hours, this should flash off. And I'll flip it over and I'll get a layer on the top side as well. More of the same, but this time on... What is the top of the dash? Because of the way it was laying on the buck the first time, I only put one layer of cloth and it was obviously uh, floppy as a um, wet noodle. So I put about three or four more layers on, um, impregnated it with resin, and then I threw the buck back in there and I've taped the duck buck into place just to kind of give some hope of this edge staying reasonably straight. Um, I want to add a couple more coats to the outside up top as well, so I got something to sand back. But let's see, another uh, three or four hours, I can pop the tape off, see how this looks. So, the second time I pulled it off the buck, it took a bit of a beating. See, it started peeling up tape everywhere, but uh, the cut line where I had to separate it all the way around. But. This edge is a whole lot straighter than it was. It's hard. Um, at this point, the only reason to add resin is actually smooth out the top and uh, to be able to sand it down smooth before I coat it with carbon. So that's, uh, yeah, the process worked. There's some things I do a little bit differently but I do have a dash. On that note, this is where I'm gonna end the video today. Um, not because I'm done working on it before I gotta post the video and not because it doesn't need a whole lot more work. Uh, just because I'm trying to make sure that this video doesn't go ridiculously long and uh, everybody loses interest. Um, I've learned a lot about the whole process that I'm playing with along the way. I got a couple of flood coats to do on the top side once I get everything sanded down. It's rigid enough now that I can actually do that. Um, but right now, this is where I'm gonna cut it off today, where I can look at my dash in the cowl of my car, propped up with a two by four and realize that I am actually very proud of what I've created here. And uh, really, that's all that matters to me. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that. Um, always feels weird asking people to subscribe and give me a little bit here. But uh, I got some goals and uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel. I promise uh, there's always some cool stuff coming up and there's always me making some horribly dumb decisions. So believe me, we're going to do some work on the Harley soon. I've got tool builds coming up. We've got CAD videos every Monday and we've got my cars. And believe me, there's so much more than that coming. Um, so yeah, subscribe to the channel, like the video, shoot me a comment, tell me what you think. If you see something that I messed up, somebody knows a little bit more about fiberglassing than I do, which is just about anyone, um, 
feel free to give me some pointers. I'm uh, I'm completely learning along the way. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.